Hi there. In the following video, I will answer for you uh, the OCR call for June 2009 question 7 on vectors again. Let's take a look at the question. Okay, it says, it's a nine mark question. It tells you that there's a certain vector is perpendicular to another vector and to another vector. Find the values of B and C and show that U is a unit vector. Okay, quite straightforward really. Two vectors are perpendicular if and only if their dot product is zero. Okay, so if we take the dot product of that vector with that vector, I should get zero. If I take the dot product of that vector and that vector, I should get zero. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to write the vectors as column vectors. I find that easier. 3 thirteenths uh, with B uh, amounts of J and C amounts of K. If I dot that, uh, with how many i four i's, no j, and one k. I'm going to get zero because the two are perpendicular. So three thirteenths times four is going to be twelve thirteenths. B times zero is zero, and C times one is C. So I get that equation, and it tells me that C must be minus twelve over thirteen. So I have found uh, C straight away. On the other hand, it tells us that vector is perpendicular to that vector. So doing the same thing, 3 thirteenths, okay, with B, uh, B amounts of J, and C now we know is minus 12 thirteenths. If I dot that, take the dot product of that with this vector, which is 4i's, 3j, and 2k, I'm again, because they're perpendicular, going to get the answer 0. So let's do it. That times that is again 12 over 13. That times that is 3b. And that times that is minus 24 over 13. It's going to be 0. 12 thirteenths take away 24 thirteenths is negative 12 thirteenths. So 3b subtract 12 thirteenths must be 0. So 3b must be 12 over 13. And dividing by uh, 3, I'm going to get the b must equal 4 thirteenths. So I've found c and b as they've asked. Lastly, don't forget this, it's a six marker. Show that u is a unit vector. So let's actually write what u is here. The vector u is the following. It is uh, 3 thirteenths in the i direction. It is uh, 4 thirteenths in the uh, j direction. And it's minus 12 thirteenths in the k direction. For something to be a unit vector, its magnitude must be 1. So let's work out the magnitude of u. What's the square root of that squared? So 3 thirteenths squared plus 4 thirteenths squared. Okay. Plus uh, minus 12 thirteenths squared. And you get when you do that, you get um, the square root of 169 over 169, which is 1. So the magnitude of the vector u is 1, therefore u is a unit vector. Okay, and we've done. Okay, next part. I'm going to do the next part. Calculate to the nearest degree. Be careful to read the question. They don't want 3SF necessarily here. The nearest degree, the angle between the following vectors. Well, I'm simply just going to use um, the, the dot product. I know that cosine of the angle between two vectors, okay, I'm going to call that vector A, I'm going to call that vector B, is the dot product between A and B, all divided by the size of A, times the size of b. Simple. We see this all the time. Okay, let's do it. a dot b. 
4 times 4 is 16. Uh, no j times 3 is nothing. And 1k times 2 is 2. Add those together, you get 18. What's the size of a? Well, it's the square root of 4 squared plus nothing squared for j plus 1 squared, lots of k. Uh, 16 plus 1 is 17. So this is the square root of 17. And what's the modulus of b? Well, it is the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared plus 2 squared. 16 plus 9 is 25, plus 4 is 29, so it's the square root of 29. So plugging everything into this formula, cos of the angle between these vectors must therefore be a dot b, which is 18, divided by root 17 times root 29. Okay, and you get for that uh, something like 0 0.810679. Keep that in your calculator. So the angle must be the inverse cos of uh, this up here. Uh, keeping that as an answer in your calculator, and you get 35.8 degrees to the nearest degree is 36 degrees. Okay, I hope you found that useful in your revision for vectors for core 4. Thanks for listening.